What's going on guys, Eric 740T with Eric's RC channel and I'm making another video and this is going to be mounting the GPS module. Um, so what came with the kit I got from Amazon, the GPS mounting kit, it's got a bunch of stuff in it. Um, let's go ahead and see what's in it first. It's got a carbon rod. know exactly what that is yet we'll figure it out this is the mounting base this will, I'm gonna screw this onto the board over here and don't know what this one is yet and it came with a mounting top for the mounting the GPS on top of it I'd like to get part of this, um, this part assembled here. Not all of it, but part of it. So it looks like this piece basically just screws in to this. And it probably locks the carbon rod in there. Well, actually, it looks like it has set screw. Oh, I see, I see. You can angle the antenna. So that's how it's going to work. So the antenna is going to go in here. I mean, not the antenna. The uh, they only fit one way, apparently. There we go. Snapped in. Feels pretty pretty secure. They're keyed keyed on each end. So uh, go and put the set screws in first. Um, I am going to put a little bit of my favorite thing in the world, uh, Loctite. Thinking of 1.5. Yep, 1.5. Get a little Loctite on there. The only reason I'm doing this on the carbon part is because these metal threads here, and I don't want it to come loose. So that's going straight in and I want to get it tight but I don't want to crack crack it so that's very tight very snug it's not going anywhere at all um, next part I'm going to do is we'll go ahead and mount the, the long screw through the, through the middle of the base the longer one's a two millimeter It's got the receded part right here, so that's the side the screw is going to go into. Uh, let's go ahead. Okay. It's supposed to be foldable. Yep, and you can get it fairly tight like that. And that's that's pretty tight. You can still bend it. That's kind of how you want it if you want to use it as something you can angle. I don't. I just want it straight up on there. Then we got this piece. It's going to slide down. It's for support and to keep it straight. If you are not using, not trying to angle it, which I absolutely, absolutely am not. That's just a this down there. Okay. Bottom part is really solid. Everything's solid, ready to go. And we can go ahead and do the top part, honestly. There's going to be two set screws, one in each. Well, no, there's not. They gave me an extra set screw. Plus, I didn't use one. But I'm pretty sure I, it did, yes. I definitely did. Uh, so back to the 1.5 millimeter. A little Loctite. And we are going to be mounting it. It's keyed again. Once again, it's keyed. Uh, the, the top part's not keyed. But you probably want the flat part. 
I mean, the, 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 the rod is key, but um, the inside of here is not. So I put the flat part toward the hole. Uh, so you don't damage the carbon. Our screws coming in. There we go. It's right on there. Perfect. Get this one nice and snug. Don't want to crack the carbon rod. And it's locked tighter on the metal, so I don't think there's going to be any problems there. So here's the completed mount. Uh, this is what we'll be using. Found some M2.8 uh, that I might use for this. Uh, I had it sitting around. So just one of these generic mounts um, may not work out with your. These are M2. 2.5 by 8. So, same thread, so we can use these. Uh, only two. This is what we're going to do. Yep, and they'll fit right in there just right. Alright, so that'll work. Let's try that again. Still the two millimeter hex. Now it's actually screwing in. I didn't like these 1.5s anyway, they were iffy, cheaply made, very cheaply made, the ones that came with, with the, uh, the copter. Alright, so let's put another one of these in there. That'll work perfectly. So these are, once again, the M2.5 by 8s. Um, I had them laying around. I don't, don't know what they were laying around from. I don't know where they came from. Um, but they came in handy. And if you're having trouble finding a, a little bit longer length, because uh, you needed longer length, otherwise it wouldn't thread in. Mount this. That is very secure. All right, so that is extremely tight on the bottom. The uh, pole itself is just slightly flexible. That is not going to go anywhere. So that is how I mounted the GPS. The uh, the GPS module that came with the AMP M2.6. It's simply just a double-sided tape, and we're just going to mount it on the top of there. Um, make sure. The way, it's cal the way they calibrate is um, the wires are, at least on mine, the wire is, is to the back and the front is straight forward, just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and get the double sided tape on there. And then when we figure about mounting and wiring it up, it's just two wires. The two connectors you have to plug in, that's it. Well, I shouldn't have done that, but... Uh, 
All right. And I want this to be straight back. This wire, I want it to be straight back. That's the front. This needs to go straight backwards. That's pretty much right on the money. Let's go ahead and squeeze that down and make sure it's nice and secure. And next thing we're gonna do is plug in the uh, plug in the GPS. So all we're gonna do there is uh, there's two two connectors. Uh, one goes to the I2C and the other one goes straight into the GPS on the top here where it says GPS. All right. So obviously the bigger one goes to GPS. I'm thinking I'm gonna tangle this wire around here just a bit. There we go. Tangle the wire around there to make sure it's not so loose and going to get tangled up in anything. So let's go ahead and plug these in. Alright, the first pin is going straight into the GPS port. If it'll go, And the other pin, that's solid in the GPS port. The other pin, we're just going to put in the ITC. Uh, And that snaps right in. So everything is good to go there. That's how it's supposed to look. Um, I'm going to run a zip tie. I'm going to run a zip tie right here just to make sure it doesn't. Uh, I want it to be loose enough. I don't want it to be pulling on the wires, basically, what I'm saying. That'll do it. Just going to snip it off. And that's it for this video, guys. Uh, here we have it. The uh, GPS is mounted with the uh, the custom uh, custom GPS mount that came with the kit. It's it's just some aftermarket knockoff, but um, GPS module arrow. I mean, uh, wire pointing toward the back. Uh, that's the front of the compass. Uh, APM pointing this way, and we are good to go on that part. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, this will be, I don't know what part of the build it will be, but I'll put it up shortly. Um, take care, guys, and uh, keep watching.